You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> It's crazy down here. We're going to get to the Big Dog Post Game Show in a minute, but there's a, there's a few fans here still. We'll be back with Mason and Bruce in a minute. All right. It, it's a little rough down here. It's a little crazy. Maryland 68-54. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. You're here from Bruce in a moment. I hope you can hear us. Uh, it, it was crazy here. Mason, Kevin Willard wanted to come here for a reason. It looked a lot like this. Yes, it did. No better place to play in the country when this building is going. It showed tonight the Terps were hot. 19-1 run in the second half. Multiple big-time shots from big-time players. Maryland is back. It's back. It's loud. It's raucous. Sometimes it's rude, but it was absolutely fantastic here on the Big Dog Post Game Show. We're inside the wire here, inside the rope. Mason, as much as it's coaching, as much as it's playing, it's some of the guys that you don't see that much. Let's start with that Emelian dunk. Yeah, I mean, just big time play for Patrick Emelian. It looked like he was not going to make it all the way to the basket. It's getting real tight down here, but he, he gets in there. And he makes a big time play, and that really started the run for Maryland. They were they had gotten going by that point, but had a million just another big play. Hey, what's up? Uh, we will go to break here. You're gonna hear from Bruce. We'll go to break. We'll be back as the crowd thins out a little bit. It was a fantastic night in College Park. All right, what a difference a coach makes. What a difference a great point guard makes. An absolutely 14 point victory that from what, 10 minutes left was never a doubt. Just incredible, I don't know what to say, but this team is back, and not next year, it's back now. Right now, Mason. Hey Rick Jackson, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know. Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the Big Dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. It's getting a little quieter here on the court. Look, Jameer Young started off slow, Bruce was a little concerned, and then of course he still gets 20. What? Just big time play after big time play. He has been, in a word, spectacular. Yeah, I mean, just the, the grit from Maryland to continue to get to the basket in this game and then that inside-out plays. And when the Terps, today, when they when they weren't making threes, they started off the game 0 for 4, 1 for 6, 1 for 8. Then they came back to it once they got that rhythm going and suddenly you saw the shots just start to fall for Maryland. Jameer Young, just a dynamic player when he gets to the basket. And, and that's what Maryland needs. They need to play through getting to the basket. And Purdue just did not really have an answer to the Terps' quick ball movement from the inside out. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Great products, on-point tech support, projects that run on time. These are some of the reasons that customers love Viner Forgates. We make your company work. For your next IT project, call Viner Four Gates at 301 251 2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com.
Defensively, especially on in the first half, Maryland played as physical a brand of defense as I've seen. And there weren't a lot of foul calls. Usually you say Maryland gets called for fouls. It didn't happen. Maryland played really hard. There were probably some fouls that weren't called for once. I think Purdue only ends up with six free throws in a very physical game. Zach Eady shows up late, but all he could do was sit in the post and sort of bully his way to the basket. It wasn't a very elegant Purdue game. We've talked before about whether they are Final Four ready. And I've said that they don't have the guard play. They did not have the guard play tonight to take advantage of the size of the post. No, I mean, despite the fact that Braden Smith had a fantastic game for the most part, uh, especially early, 15 early points from him. But overall, Purdue really struggled when Edie was not getting solid touches. They had a lot of balls batted away from them in the, in the refereeing of this game. They really just let both teams play, but the Terps, extra physical down low. It paid off for them uh, throughout the night. And i got to give a shout-out to some of these guys that, that don't get the headlines. Ian Martinez at one point was a plus 18. Donald Carey, although he didn't score a lot, he made some plays in that giant Maryland run. And, uh, and you got to talk about the crowd. We pined for the days of the ACC in those Duke games. This was at that level. Do you agree? This is it for Maryland. I mean, the, the fact that they've brought back some of the things I think the fans enjoy the most uh, about Xfinity Center coming to Maryland games. And here it is. I think this says it all. They played the Big Ten sportsmanship thing that they only usually play pregame three times during the normal length of the game. If that's not Maryland basketball, I don't know what is. I cannot top that. For Bruce, for Mason, this is Wayne. A very happy good evening from Xfinity Center. We will see you after the Maryland-Syracuse lacrosse game on Saturday.